Guys, and welcome back to another video with your host, as always, KMAC Time. Now, a little bit ago, I made a video about some po Pokemon that are based off of real life animals, like Magikarp being based off a of giant carp, Butterfree, and such like things like that, being based off of actual real life animals. Today, I thought it'd be a cool idea to take a look at some Pokemon that are actually based off of mythological animals. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this list with Misdreavious. Now Misdreavious is a ghost type Pokemon with no visible extremities and it basically looks like a floating head with a dress. This Pokemon is based off of a Japanese mythological creature called a Nukubi. And Nukubi are female humanoid creatures with heads that detach from their bodies and freely fly around at night. It is said that during the night they wail and scream to increase the amount of fright they instill on people. Next up is Sneasel. Now Sneasel is based off of a creature known as a Kamatachi. A Kamatachi are weasel-like monsters with sickles for hands. According to the mythology, Kamatachi hunt humans in packs of three, each having their own job. One is in charge of knocking you down, another one cuts flesh off the human's leg, and the last one sews up the wound so it's like nothing ever happened. It happens so quickly that you don't ever realize what happened to you, you simply just feel like you tripped. Fox spirits are actually one of the most commonly known types of spirits in Japanese folklore. These spirits are said to grow extra tails every 100 years until they reach 9. When a fox spirit achieves 9 tails, they become godlike with infinite wisdom and power. Their fur also shifts from red to white. Jinx is both a reference to the Japanese fashion trend known as Ganguru and witch-like monsters called Yamamba. Yamamba live in like hermits in the icy mountains and like sirens they lure lost tourists and travelers to their cabin where they would proceed to eat them. Espion comes from a creature called Bonenico. Like the name suggests, Bonenico is a changed cat. Like Espion, these have split tails and in mythology, these shapeshifters are known to speak words, transform into humans, curse humans, possess humans, manipulate the dead, and even join wolves in attacking humans. Zapdos, which is one of the original three legendary Pokemon, is based off of a Native American mythological creature called a Thunderbird. A Thunderbird is a supernatural bird with powerful, enormous wings capable of producing thunder with each flap. In mythology, this bird is a spirit of lightning, thunder, and rain. A myth of a strange paranormal encounter in Kentucky was actually the inspiration for Sableyes. Sometime in 1955, bizarre sightings of a Gremlin-like alien was being reported in local farmhouses. It was said that they moved in erratic swaying motions and is also said that the bullets would bounce off their bodies. Mawile is based on a story about the Fogtukinchi Ona, a woman with a second mouth hidden under the back of her head. As legend goes, a poor farmer married a woman who ate next to nothing. He was greatly pleased with his wife because it hardly cost anything to keep her fed. As time went on, the farmer noticed that his supply of grains were mysteriously disappearing. One night, the farmer awoke from his sleep. When he looked over to see his sleeping wife, he was actually horrified to see a second mouth on his wife's head. The woman's hair acted like tendrils, picking up rice and feeding the second mouth nonstop. Whiskash's inspiration comes from a legend created during the Edo period in Japan. It was believed that catfish were much more active right before an earthquake. From this, a myth began spreading about Amanazu, a giant catfish who was able to cause earthquake. This goes hand in hand with Whiskash's Pokedex description. Quote, it thrashes about and triggers a massive earthquake. It also explains why it's water and ground typing. Coming from a Chinese legend, Absol is a reference to Bei Zi, a beast with the power of foresight and knowledge of the supernatural world. It is said that Bei Zi taught the Yellow Emperor Huang Di about the supernatural world and how to defeat its inhabitants. When the myth crossed over to Japan, the beast's name was changed to Katabe and was said to come out of the forest to warn humans of upcoming disasters. During the 16th century, the Czech Republic government would terrorize Jewish civilians of Prague with anti-Semitic attacks and even sanctioned massacres. It was said that during this time, a rabbi called upon God to bring to life a clay sculpture. The sentient golem would then protect the city's inhabitants. This fabled golem was the inspiration for Golurk. Golurk also borrows many of the golem's aesthetics, like the crack on its chest. The original concept for Frostlast derives from the Japanese myth of Yuki Ona. 
the Yuki Ono as a beautiful ghostly woman in a white kimono who would hover over the snow. If the Yuki Ono ever targeted you, she would kill you with the cold. A few of the ways she would do this is she would lead you away from your home until you die from exposure, knock down the doors to exposing your home to the elements, or she would just directly freeze you on the spot. Xenius, Zventhal, and Zagarde each come from a Norse mythology. Just like their counterparts, Xenius is an almighty stag, Ventil is a giant eagle-like bird, and Zagarde is a snake-like dragon. Groundon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza are based off of mythological monsters from the Bible. The Old Testament mentions a behemoth, lefenanth, and ziz, creatures so big that they represent the very forces of nature. Groundon represents a behemoth, Kyogre, which actually means whale in Hebrew, represents the levianth, and Rayquaza represents the ziz. Dunsparce comes from a very strange looking mythological creature. It is said that there's a peculiar looking snake called a Sunikyu, aka a bee snake that lives in Japan. The snake has a stubby body, a poisonous stinger for a tail, and can leap through the air. There is actually a reason why Drowsy and Hypno look so weird. It's because they're based on the Baku spirit. Baku are thought to be a hodgepodge of random leftover pieces after God finished creating all the animals. These tapir-like creatures would roam around and eat people's dreams. Dusclops are actually based on Chochin Akabe, or a lantern spook. These spooks look like normal lanterns, however, they have one eye and a protruding tongue. And finally, a Manectric is based off of the lightning wolf called Raiju. Raiju is the pet of the Shinto Thunder God, and it is actually said that Raiju would often hide in people's belly buttons. Well, there you guys go. There are some Pokemon that are based off of mythological creatures. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have not checked out my other video about Pokemon that are based on real life animals, link will be in the description and the end site. So go ahead and give that video a watch. But make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this in your sub box weekly. Until next time, guys, remember that it's KMAC time somewhere and peace out.